Hello, criminals. Watch out. Talking simulators on the case. No, no matter what time, the crime will find time to crime solve that crime. Who are you talking to? Criminals. Fuck. Have I already caught my first criminal? Well, not yet. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Have at you. <laughs> Oh, is this, is this how we're fighting now? Wait, one second. Is that like tie my... Stream streamers uh, lethally scalded in terrible bit. <laughs> Can't untie my tea bag. Just a second. There we go. There we go. Alright. Yaha! <laughs> <laughs> now we are equally armed. <laughs> Oh no, it's just like conquers. <laughs> I was gonna start sweat. swinging this around, and then I realized <laughs> that it would just. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it might be worth it just for once. <laughs> how cold is how, how hot or cold is that tea bag? Oh, uh, it's warmish. All right. Come on. I mean, I'm honestly. Why does this look like it would be fun to chew? This has very strong Tide Pod vibes. I'm just gonna say it's full of dirt flavored leaf. I know, Dust. right? Like the instant I bite my teeth down on it, the, the 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 bag will shred, and I will never get all of the leaves out of my teeth. Right? I'll be blowing them out of my nose for months. Yet, the impulse remains strong. It's even worse with the ones that you have to like customly fill because mm -hmm. they're just open at the top. You could just like. It's a strange fate that we should suffer like so a box much of, box of smarties over Just such rain. a little thing not even the rain i care not for it wow azralorn sucked a tea bag before <laughs> fool <laughs> something your dentist told i thought suction... i thought sucking on things was supposed to be extremely bad mhm mm mhm mm don't Isn't listen to your dentist. Gargle salt water. Yeah, like, I... I've heard enough stories about teenagers coming home uh, extremely... Sucking on a tea bag. Extremely baked after getting their wisdom teeth removed. Mm -hmm. Like, profoundly sedated. And their parents being like, oh, cool, here's a milkshake. Anyway, going back to work, see you in, like, four hours. Go the clots. Yep. <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't taste like a cotton ball? It tastes a lot like a cotton ball. Oh, today was ruined long ago. Hmm. Uh, so today on Cracker Pack. Yes, we are going to be cracking open this copy of Crampton by Thomas Ligotti and Brandon Trends. All right. It finally showed up in the mail. I got the soft cover version. Yes. Um, I bought this in November of last year, I think. When we were talking about Crampton? Yeah, when we were, like, when everyone wanted to talk about Crampton. I'm just, and it showed up in the mail, like, this morning. Hmm. Yo. Okay, what's the, are, it, it, is the cover soft to the touch? Is there any pringling? Uh, ooh. It's kind of got, like, that velvety oh, feel. Oh, that's so, so smooth. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at the, look at the, 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 mm -hmm. the margins. Yep. The margins on that script. Oh! It is mono, mono spaced courier. Oh. It looks like 12, maybe 14 point, you know, standard. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No bolding, just caps. Yep. Very readable. Extremely easy to read. Oh, yeah. 
cool Oh, there's illustrations. illustrations on the back. All the mannequins. All the mannequins and, and the, 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 the murder the house. house. Yep. Yeah. More mannequins. 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 <laughs> the TV. Oh, this is cool. So what's first pick? Ooh, ooh. Um, um, I would go with Crampton. Yeah, I, I would support the Crampton pick. Who wrote the forward? I believe Ligotti did. Okay. It's in first person. 1998 was a red letter year for me. I was in my mid to late 20s and had recently moved from South Alabama to New York City. I lived in a musty basement apartment in Astoria, Queens, and worked during the day on the 23rd floor of 30 Rockefeller Plaza, overlooking the famous skating rink in St. Patrick's Cathedral. Wow, okay. Worked on, worked at 30 Rock. 30 Rock. Yeah, it's just like 30 Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Significantly, 1998 was also the year I made the acquaintance of my favorite author, Thomas Ligotti. Oh, Aha! Okay. Who did write the foreword? John Paget. John Paget with a D. Hmm. Two T's. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm very happy to finally have this. Uh, Crampton, if you're not familiar, was a script for the X Files Thomas Ligotti wrote on spec, I yes. think, and was rejected for, you know, mainly because the X Files doesn't accept scripts on spec but probably also because it probably killed Mulder and Scully. Probably. They probably died in the script. But uh, it was also extremely cool. If you can... It's the, online. The script is online. You can go and read it. But and this is a longer version. <laughs> yes. That is That has excised Mulder and Scully. Yeah. And is no longer an X-Files story. And is now just like... You know, what if you what if you could kill Mulder and Scully? Or Smulder and Cully. Yeah. Or Modem and Nully. Yeah, right? From from Reboot. Beep, boop, beep, boop. My digits. So it's fanfic now. Yeah, it was kind of kinda, fanfic. Yeah. yeah kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I want to film it. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> ah. Anyways, today we're playing Crime O'Clock, which is a uh, hidden object game mm -hmm. where you solve crimes over times. And then I believe you get to see the, the evolution of the crime. Oh, cool. So this is exactly like Oberdin. Totally. Big. Toe to tip. Yep. Yeah. It's in black and white. And it's the same as that other game with the uh, the honey yo-yo. Oh, yeah. God. I can't... I originally meant it as a joke. The, put the honey on the yo-yo and use it to grab the butterflies. No, no. You had to use it to get the, the leather out of the tree. The, le the, le the right. The scraps for the... For yeah. The, for the, Windmill. Here comes Honey Yo-Yo. So we're probably not going to encounter much logic puzzleness. It's I, I think we're, we're we get like a list of things to find, and then we do that. But if we don't, I'm interested to see how they communicate the the objective. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, there's, like, a little narrative here. Yeah. I'm booting the game. Oh, I'm fixing our camera. Oh, scribbling right in my ears. Whoop. can't make it perfect mm -hmm. oh no ah. oh well this is graham's fault
Hello. Ooh, premium. I like the idea that we, in the universe, are using the freemium version of whatever, like... Of Eve, our AI yeah. crime-solving partner. Able to see past and future events by accessing the time flow in our virtual recreation of the true timeline. I guess we're Loki. Ooh. The Time Variance Authority. I get to focus on the not-so-simple mathematics of crimes. There's clues. <gasps> oh no. Oh my heavens. We might detect a crime that was never supposed to happen. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Let's do a good job together, coworker. Yeah. Try not to create any paradoxes on your way through the parking lot. Press play. Oh, I'm, I'm playing the information age right now. 2015. Okay. Oh no, deduction. Mm. Oh no. This is the part I did the worst on in the LSAT. There's a database. Oh my god. Let's left join all, all of the tables. Sorry, I panicked. Ooh. A mysterious thief broke into a fashion model's loft and stole one of her famous jewels. There's a catch, though. According to the true timeline, the crime hasn't happened. So our task is to preserve the integrity of the time flow. To do that, we have to learn exactly what happened and find the right order of events. We can't interfere with the past, so we have to be sure our actions won't create further paradoxes. The first step in any investigation is to find the crime scene, zoom in to get a close look at the map, and observe the details better. Find the victim. Victim here? I don't think it, I think it manually zoomed, or like it, <laughs> it targeted. Ah. My aim was off. Select an element and let the system verify it. Press and hold. Oh God. Oh. Here's our model. She's reporting the theft. More clues. How do I get there? Find the apartment. Oh, e door. Door. A clue. <gasps> Burgled. Oh no. There it is. Topsy turvy. Doors <laughs> open instead of closed. Windows open instead of closed. Excuse me. Go to tick four. Oh. Oh, there's there he is, on a hang glider. Ooh, the whole map changed. Can you find the thief? A suspect. Oh, definitely not necessarily the thief. I'd be 110% sure. Oh my God, make no mistakes. the hang glider go? It's behind him. Yeah, but in tick five. No. No. Okay, so go to tick. Can I, can I go back? 
No, we we need to find the thief in tick five. Hmm. Well, he, they would have had to get rid of their overalls. What about the tail? Is that them? Looks like it. <laughs> if that ain't love, I don't know what is. Oh no, I didn't know there'd be a test. No. 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 The one that's a test of character. Yassi. Just imagine like a, a Spock eyebrow to that. No. Oh. <laughs> Cloister. Cloister. Someone's dead. Where's the university? That looks like school. A lot of. Oh, is that. That's the. That might be the dead person, right? Yeah. No. 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 Oh. Okay. okay so that's not the. That's not the cloister. That's someone else cloister. dying. Uh, I think the cloister is the. Uh, it would be by the cathedral, but the structure next to the cathedral, right? That? Yeah, isn't that a cloister? I don't know. There we go. Danielle Moroni. His Cultural books. In... Hmm. We found Dan Brown. <laughs> Archaeology professor. Whenever you see professors in popular media, they are never wearing enough Metallica t-shirts. IMO. Or, or those five finger shoes. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I had a TA once that wore those, and he would just spend the classes just doing stretches off to the side, like real deep lunges. You ever feel that there some were like people were like 500 students in that class? <laughs> ever feel that some people were not bullied enough? <laughs> <laughs> in the 
future. Puppets are illegal. How do we know it's lime scented? Uh huh. Ah! Universal biochemical analysis subroutine loaded correctly. Welcome to my world. Now you're looking at reality through my systems. This is how I perceive everything, even emotions. And as you can see, no puppets. What a relief. I've never been so soothed by AI. Hmm. Mm, check for poisoning. Booba! Analyze victims samples. Matchy matchy? I guess so. Matchy. Oh, is this a Towers of Hanoi thing? Cannot move. Try moving the white. I think you can only move the white highlighted ones. Oh, it. Yeah. Do I swap? What? There. M move it over to the empty space. I guess move the other ones to the other side. You were right. Gonna set that up as my ringtone. It's the puppet's fault. For him, our, our dude. Yeah. It's him. No. no. I don't think it would put it behind a UI thing, right? I don't think so. No, that would be kind of rude. Um. Well, where did he get the drink? Oh, the lime. Yeah. Is there like a cafe? that he would have stopped at. No. Uh. Murdy. I guess so. Hmm. already got the drink. Yeah. There he is. Does he not have the book there, though? What is that? What is that? Mis da Master Splinter? Snap. 
Well, hey. his top half went by. Hey. You and then give me his. There we go. Yay. Do not like that. Yeah, the mini games are a little. Oh, Umberto I just like the transition. E Umberto Ego. Hilarious. Enigmatic text called Raw and the Pendulum. Oh. <laughs> okay, make six. So that we're one behind. Yeah. Or wherever the librarian well. got the book from. There's the professor. There it is. Oh, yeah. And blocked. Oh, snap. Hmm. So I wasn't wrong with the book vending machine earlier. No. I was just way ahead of the game. It's true. 5D chess time travel. A book delivery point. Hmm. They have them in Edmonton. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Beam, beam. I didn't check the settings in the game. Hmm. Maybe there's a less jarring transition? Yeah. Do that after this. Hmm. Wait. Birdie! I... Okay. Quirt. only no um, hmm. yeah boggle Roberto Beniamino Bob Ben Bobby Ben Back in the cell towers. Hmm. I have to take the shield down. Oh, it's timed. Oh. Cute. Ah! Super maxi burger. Is that a burger with wings? Settings. Hmm. Uh, that? No. Oh, I can turn the, the crap off. Oh, nice. Dang. All right. Oh, look at the cat burglar on the roofs. All right. Well, I'll continue until I'm done this mission. This mission done. Mm -hmm. the, cap the roof of the. Oh, at the right side of screen. Oh. Oh, it's the same place. Yeah. That's a boy. Sewer. Hmm.
this stuff off. Oh, this guy. He was angry in the other one. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, face. Such mischief. Pranks. Time crimes. <laughs> this is like the demolition man universe. <laughs> Welcome Raiders. Ah! Oh, Erwurga. good heavens. Erwurga. A relaxing time is over. <laughs> no time to explain. Why? Okay. Settings. Aha! Aha! <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay. Cannot escape out of options menu. So I guess we do stuff in the same location until uh, it's, a, it's empty, basically. So they've I got guess. like these several like little interacting scenes happening hmm. together. This is the stage thing where the person got hit. Yeah. <laughs> Why crimes? Why crimes? Can I get them from here? <laughs> nice. No. Wait. <gasps> it is. There is. They have slash. Oh, they do. <laughs> he got smushed by a light. The pizza incident, huh? I Man. don't know. I don't know any Guns N' Roses album. Oh, the spaghetti incident. It sucks. Find sharp. Uh, what about that arrow embedded in the wall? The, right by the tick. Um, up there. Yeah. yeah. I, I was. I was. I was distracted by whatever these are. Curious. A quarrel. Who shot the bolt? <laughs> ah, notes. Yes. Okay, I'll click on it. Ah! That's a lot. Who shot the boat? Okay. So now we're at tick seven. And... Crossbow. Oz bones! Hmm. Okay, 
Where's Oz? There's Rick and Morty. Morty again. Oh. No. Th no, on. there he is at the very bottom of screen. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He shed his outer layer. Oh, and there's the turtles again. Is that John Wick? I think so. Saving the dog? Can I tick? Or I, want, I want to tick. It'll let me eventually, I think. Oops. Start again. They usually don't seem to travel very far between ticks. No. Not usually. I think he got he got naked and then diapered. He seems to be crossing at the crosswalk. It would be horrible to think that he jaywalked. <gasps> Walk. Walk. Hmm. Maybe we need to go in a little further. So he went that way, probably. Mm hmm. Angry. Furious, scheming. I'll just follow the road. Yeah, is it possible he went into one of the 400 subway stations? Right. Oh, that ain't healthy. Mm. <laughs> is that, um, what's your face from Friends? Phoebe? See what the hints give us. Yeah. Cool. Hiding. Hiding. Don't seem fast. Seems like hiding. Jog stretch. Could he have backtracked? Sure. Uh, ballistics. A rifled bolt. <laughs> Aren't they fletched? <laughs> it's flexible. The, the fletching folds down. Hmm. Find cross boop. Uh, tick nine. Hey, kid, want a crossbow? Cool. I think so, yeah. Ooh, 
Oh boy. I mean, it has to be somewhere between his current position and his last position, right? Right. Did he throw it on top of the castle? I just, I don't know what's physically possible in this universe. Yeah. Could he just yeet it? Like. I just wanted to see mm -hmm. if there was like uh, extra pickups. I might need another hint. Hmm. Is it like disguised as something? Jesus? Or wait, hold on, zoom out. Expand. We can go in or out. Up there. Ah! Truck was going by. Good work, everyone. The what? <laughs> the, excuse me? <laughs> Say that again? Oh. Those are kind of matchy matchy. Matchy matchy. I mean, it looks like it matched. Macro detail scanner? Oh, the red line. Oh, okay. Got it. No doubt. Fucking Dave Mustaine. Him and his finger style. <laughs> Find the motive and prevent the motive. We're gonna find Axel, like, surrounded by groupies. All right, where's our boy? Oh, it's the guy with the hang glider. Yeah. He hung gl glid in from the neighboring roof. Totally hungled. This. Our, our crumbadol. Axel looks like that. I think. No, Axel has like a headband. Oh. Here we are. There he is with the cross. That one? Yep. Yep. Every day like this. Hmm. All right, where's the band? Oh, the marching band's coming. Look at them go. So this was over the course of like 15 seconds then. It's crimpable. There's just so much going on. Oh, 
looking for Slash, really. Hmm. Band set up yet? Oh, yeah, about to do some crimes. Heal, yeah. Is that him on the waterfront playing the guitar? Right there? Nope. Nope. The long hair. Mm hmm. He seems to be some kind of rabbit. I would expect the band to be like on their way to oh. the show. There's everyone else in the band. There he oh. is on his phone. Upset. his phone? No. That's his phone. Such gaming. Felony! Run a trace. <gasps> he was by the waterfront. Yeah, he was down there. That's directly south, basically. Space time, something distorted. Yeah, that weird demon that was talking to him. Yeah. Yeah. Why does it have a triangle? Ooh, it has some kind of interference.
great they were helping Hell 9000 with time crimes. <laughs> it's like, hey, help me by reading these lips. <laughs> Oh, I want more jokes. Ooh. Uh, is break this time? a good time for a break? Yeah. All right. Well, it's been an hour, so we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll play more and solve more time crimes. Be advised. Hello. Cameron's getting a snack, so he'll be a little bit. So let's find out what this demon's all about. Yeah, you. Done. Details about strange happenings around the last case. Grasp the nature of the mysterious figure. Let's call him Rage. Yes. Raid Shadow Demon. Oh, oh, no. Oh under normal circumstances. Oh no, we're gonna break history. Might solve a mystery. DuckTales. All right, let's do Lostage. Yellow Greedy Year. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they think old timeies is. I have mixed feelings. Like they, they have a stargate. Corpse near pyramid. This pyramid or that pyramid? Somebody's mad. That's probably going to be important later. Why do they have a truck? Bird person? Why do they have cars? Is this it? think he would feel anything. Are we hacking the crane? I'm looking at the, the fray marks on the rope. Ah. Yes. These will tell us what tool was used. <laughs> it was a pointy tool. Are they going to make an Ian and Esther joke about faulty metals?
toolbox. A lot happening. There we go. This guy. Okay, they, they're a mouse. I know they have mouse ears. Criminal mouse. Criminal mouse to mind? Mm -hmm. A10 Blacktail. Only work with a black tail. Oh, that helps. there being an elephant earlier. Cheese can be exchanged for goods. Damn. Damn, you murder someone, you'll go out and buy a big cheese and a big hat. So we've got a uh, sabotaged crane on a pyramid construction site crushing a worker and then a worker called Aiton Blacktail uh, going out and proving that he bought new stuff and then going and buying big cheese, big hat, and a pet crocodile. And there's also these portals okay. called Earth Gates. And uh, there's definitely some Jaffa around. <laughs>
What year are we in? Uh, the Lost Age. Oh, interesting. Supervisor was up here. There he is. Stargate. Hmm. Stargate goes to... Is there another Stargate? Just a little, little yoga. Mm-hmm. Onk gate. Is there a twisted flax gate? Uh, I see an eye gate. I'm mostly looking for a mouse with a black tail. Hmm. Exactly, Lumi. There he is. <gasps> Time flow manipulation. list. Let's look over his corner. Over his shoulder. Hmm. Around corners. Up and down the piece of paper. I can't read. Hmm. Alright, so... Thing, I... Hmm. Twisted... Where's... Is there only one of these? Oh, wait, there's... Another one of those, and then... Bonk? Yes, and then waves, sure. You are so much better at that than I am. I would just stare at that screen and for about 15 minutes until I started crying. At least you can undo. Hmm. You just have to know what neighbors you're looking for. Oh, right. Okay, here's a here's a question. All right. Unrelated to the game. I was getting on a ferry a couple of months ago. Right. Um, and as the ferry arrived and it started deboarding people, I started counting them in my head mm -hmm. because I was curious, how many walk-on passengers are there? And I realized as I was counting them, that an actual, like, number that I was visualizing was incrementing in my head. Oh, I don't do that. I had to train myself out of doing that. I tried to do that if the number's really big, because mm -hmm. then I can, I can memorize the individual digits, but that only works up to, like, four or five. Mm -hmm. And then I realized I was trying to say the number. Oh, that's too long. Yeah, way too long. Yeah. And I realized I could just kind of, like, know the number. Yeah. And since then, I found it way easier to just walk into a room and be like, there's 17 people in here. Like, you dropped 86 toothpicks? Not quite like that, but okay. like... Okay. All right. Hmm. Yeah. Like if it, if there's if there's really obvious like groupings, mm -hmm. like in the three to six, I can I can ballpark numbers pretty quickly. Mm. 
but it, then it's like I'm I'm looking at like groups, right? And right. Adding them together and mm-hmm. not. But I was just wondering, like, if like if if it was a common thing to have either of those um, the C numbers mechanisms. in your head, yeah. When you when you see numbers and and like for a long time, manipulating numbers was a large part of what I did with my day. I can, like, I can memorize a long string of numbers, like, pi to 100 digits or whatever like that, Mm -hmm. but I cannot read text in my head. Hmm. And numbers are worse. Hmm. From, like, a bit of dyscalculia. Interesting. Like... I can build like very complex systems Mm -hmm. or things like flow or like there's knots and things like connect, but they're like tangled. Like Mm -hmm. that's fine. But like parsing an equation, like even just like the slope of a line equation. Right. Right. That it's like I get to two and I it slips. Hmm. Just well, like A plus B. <laughs> uh. I, anyway, since then I've been trying to like unpack what else I think of in terms that are. I, I had know, a friend uh, who, for their inner monologue, had like a, t- a ticker tape. Oh, really? Just text like the bottom of a, of a screen. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I, I think it's probably useful to interrogate all of the ways that we order our thoughts. Yep. Um, and, I like, I've just been wondering which are the ones that I'm doing or which of the mechanisms that I use to order my thoughts are actually, like, slowing me down or interfering mm. in some way. Like, which ones are not helpful? I don't know. Can you tell what you're feeling at any given time? Like, if someone asks you how you're feeling. Mm. For the last, I don't know, 10 or 15 years, I've actually, like, paused and thought about it for a second. Right. Before just saying, oh, you, you know, fine. Um, but but that's cop-out, right? Like, you just mm-hmm. don't want to do the work? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. No, I, I hear some people can tell how they feel. Okay. Just off the bat. A couple of weeks ago, there was a study that came out that said self-administered autism tests fall within, you know, one standard deviation of ones that are administered clinically. Right. So it was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll try one and see what happens. Um, High score. Um, (laughs) You're a winner. Gaming. Um, (laughs) But one of the questions that I was like, Okay, I can see why it's not perfect because it would actually help to ask a clinician clarifying questions about some of these questions. Right. Like, what do you mean um, I can tell what other people are feeling? And my partner, who was there with me at the time, was like, oh yeah, um, neurotypical people think they know what other people are feeling. And suddenly I was just like, oh, God. You ever, like, meet a stranger and have to have a conversation and it's, like, staring directly into the sun? Um, I don't think I've had that precise experience. Yeah, and then if there's just, like, a lot of people, it's just, like, it's like these, it's like these LED panels. Mm, mm -hmm. It's just, like, Mm, mm, mm mm-hmm. Don't recommend it. Anyway, I'll think about that answer for the rest of my life. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Other people can think. Yeah. I mean, like, some of it's projecting. Yep. And then there's, like, people with autism with some emotional regulation issues can get overwhelmed by being exposed to, like, other people suffering. Mm Mm-hmm. Kind of a like a, an, a, an empathy, hyper empathy thing. Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. If you like walking around on your toes, if you don't do it very high, people can't tell you're doing it. Just throwing that up there. Gonna try that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like stimming things that are just way too obvious to do around people. Just way. They're frequently noisy. Yeah, and repetitive. Ooh. When I was a kid, I would smack myself on the head with a ruler while mm. I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. Turns out people find that annoying. Live, you learn. Hmm. When I was a kid, I had a watch with a diving dial on it. Yep. That ticked whenever you moved it. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Anyway, I got bullied a lot that year at school. <laughs> Ooh, what smooth city. To Emily. Where's my notes? I can just do this faster. Remind me to look up Smooth City. Hmm. Hey. All right, back to the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, right. So while you were gone, Mm -hmm. because uh, I had to diagnose this faulty pulley, I was like, they're going to make an Ian Astor joke. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. Smell it. The, the, the mission is called the Greedy Gear. Okay. Yeah. supposed to be here packed up. Hmm. Crime. Ard, you should send me a link to that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Nanoland's making a comeback. Um. Uh... from outside the timeline. Oh dear. Man, okay, I had an idea for a TTRPG that I wanted to run. Right. And this is kind of like uncomfortably, not close to it, but like... This game? Yeah, elements of it are turning up. Especially considering like one of my big blocks for it was how do I make it into a game rather than just like me telling players what's happening. And nice. I feel that that's what a lot of the mini games here are. Yeah. Like, come on, we need more gameplay. Can we have more gameplay here? Yeah. But it's kind of. I think like the the target age is pretty mm -hmm. low on this, but mm -hmm. also it's a, like just kind of like a chill sit back game. It is. It is. Paradox. 
but I can't see colors. <laughs> Market Street. This one? Ah! Oh my god. This one? Yeah, what happened? Link was here. Or, sorry, Zelda. <laughs> old Zelda Ocarina. Shoshan. Is the unstoppable force a goat? <laughs> Why aren't you? Uh, there it is. Is he wearing a little hat? It's one of the potlids. Oh! A villain! flavoring on these lines like mm. cuz they've got like little dotted lines or little dashed lines so the little hoof lines is good must indicate passage it doesn't say like gorilla war or yeah crisis well, I guess or gorilla is already like is gorilla war a contradiction or a, gorilla is a, a style an oxymoron I mean, gorilla means little war, right? Really? Oh, gear. Yeah, oh, it's Spanish. Yeah. Oh, okay. But usually in English, a gorilla is the fighter, right? Mm hmm The person it is a person, not a war. Or a stop. So the goat's owner... Used as a noun, it indicates a person. Used as an adjective, it's a style of war. Is this the goat's owner? No. I remember seeing them er later. Because this whole field was empty. Isn't that, that a goat? Guerriero? I have no idea. Guerriero? I don't yeah, speak yeah. Italian. Another goat? Well, who's Jafar! the goat? Who was own goat? There's portals. I have to pay attention to watch that fight play out. Mm. Oh my god, what are these guys up to? That's spooky. Some spooky crap. I will show you the Oh, yeah. Aha! If I owned goat. Is it this happy person? No. I mean, I think there's going to be like a better clue. Mm hmm. I mean, the goat is kind of hidden behind the thing on the street, behind the portal. The, uh, yeah. But we're not looking for the goat. No, we're looking for the owner. So I was like following the trail of goats because there's, well, here's here's the the one goat. Yeah. So maybe if I, no, nope. nope. Find the goat, find the owner. Do do do. There's another goat. So maybe there's a third goat somewhere. Some when. Or maybe I'm overthinking it. The Sky Shepherd? No. Nope. 
Is it maybe the disinterested guy holding the newspaper? That guy? Yeah. Nope. I owned a goat. Do goat herds have crooks? Yes, they would. Aha! Fool! There's a reason there's sheep herding dogs, cow herding dogs, but no goat herding dogs. Oofa. Yeah, I gotta stop finding the end of the... Mm. Yeah, finding the next step. Yeah. gone to retrieve the goat. Maybe. Is that him? Nope. He's beaky and angry, but he looks happy for There he is. There he is. Yeah, there. Laughing. All my pots smashed and you're laughing. Everything about this man. See, this was empty. Yeah, this must be months ago. But it was just ticks. Yeah. Oh. So mighty. not appear to be. I forget what he was wearing. If I, could, if, I, if I could go, will it tell me? No. I have to find the man. Follow the goat. Find the man. Oh, it's crap. Aha! Capitalism! Is that him by the stall? Just above? There? Failure. Not only a fool, a failure.
this in? Do you have the headband? I forget. I don't think so. I expect him to be like selling something somewhere else. Yeah, what kind of merchant is he? <laughs> so mighty. There he is. Failure. Selling grain? Wheatgrass? Oh, what's happening over here? Getting shredded. Oh, yeah. Mr. Moneybags over here. Not. Not a good winner. Nope. Oh. Time to use our giant brains. Oh, good. Their I wasn't phrases. expecting that. Uh, up. Up. Can you go die? Oh, no. no. There. That one? Ah! No. Yep. Yep, yep. No. <laughs> Cowards. Show me ads from this future game, devs. Mm -hmm. There he is, emerging from... Yeah, wow. <clears throat> My life, it shambles. <gasps> mm -hmm. There it is, Rage. Rage got him. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, Minority Report. Wait until they're in the act of the crime. <laughs> that makes it totally ethical. What? What is it? Still checking on the... The gladiators. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's the mummy. 
It's Brendan Fraser and... Yes, that's uh, it. Uh, other guy from The Mummy. Yeah, the guy who has all the religious symbols. Uh-huh. There we are. Right at the pet store. Jonathan. Yeah, not the guy with all the religious symbols, because that was like oh. a sneak. This is the, yeah, Rachel Weiss's brother. Mm, right, right, right. The librarian? He's, an, he's sort of an archaeologist, but not. Right. Smuggler? He tries to capitalize on stuff? Hmm. It's been a while. Maybe I should rewatch The Mummy. I've been told that everyone in it is freakishly hot. I mean, when I was, like, a baby, they weren't. Yeah. So. Dames are fallen. No, wait. I love it when my dames are fallen. Dames be fallen, yo. Dames get low. Good lord. <laughs> they do be. Cathedral. Oh, there was a guy with like a phone remote control thing with him. Yeah, I remember that. Damn. Oh no, the Madanina. And it's like all distorted. Frag time, please. Can I? Is it, do I get a little video to watch? Frag little, out. Little, little blocks. Get that frag out. Read right. It's time stored in sectors. Hmm. Frag time. If I could find a way. To... Oh, I have to match the inside. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh huh. Yeah. Frag out for Harambe. Man. If if you remember that meme, it's time for your ibuprofen. And by meme, I remember I mean horrible, horrible chain of events. Yeah. Where did you come? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes. Matrices. Well, one's got to be the identity, right? <laughs> and then we diagonalize all of them. And then they're the same. 
We're in the piss zone. Near zoo. Is that the zoo? Uh, no, I think the zoo is way up at the top of the screen. Up there? Yeah, with the lilifin. Oh, there's one of the things. Yarata? Yarita. Rata. Waterway? Waterway. Backwards. Some shapely scribbles. Like rat. This hmm. is the rat that gets the stuff. Remy? Oh no! There it is. Right there. Two. Holy. holy. Everything is holy. Does that mean everything's full of holes? Possibly. There it is. On the buttress. Castle. Yeah, I'm castling. Ray. Me, Ray. Uh, Fa. Fa was down here somewhere? I want to say so. It's another re. Oh, another me. Cleaning up the streets. See. Why is that statue so caked up? Question for the sculptor or commissioner. 
the person who commissioned the statue, not the statue commissioner. I wonder if anyone who ever commissioned a statue got back something and was like, why are they so banging? Like, this is a saint. Why is he unreasonably yoked? I'm not complaining. But, you know, it's just like that story about when um, Miyazaki got the art concept back for Guinevere in Dark Souls and was like, I don't know how to bring this up, so I'm going to blank on it. Yeah, that one Satan statue. Why does Satan's ass look indestructible? <laughs> they mean even more indestructible, he asked Lucifer. Without the I'm not complaining. Lucifer's folly was pride hmm. in his ass. That pride is stored in the cheeks. Oh no! Is this the thing? could you possibly want? Oh, it's memory. <laughs> yeah, you solved it. I forgot the symbols already. Nope. There's a timer. Top right. Skill. I'm trying to sit around, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the Swiss guard. My pun. She was like over here, right? Is that her? Yeah, that looks like her. She's got a scouter. a regular guard. I'm looking for the weapon. I like the guy pulling at his collar. Me. Hot, hot. 
Marie. Someone got poofed? Apparently. How dreadful. It's cold up there. Hot over here. Cold over here. Cold over here. And that's not the thing. Hmm. So, weapon stand? Weapon stand. Tick after she gets clobbered by the To Emily, is that why people are able to uh, reply to may the force be with you or have to force themselves not to reply may the force be with you with and with you? Match amplitude, match period. Close enough. Atlantis. I have yet to meet a former Catholic or any Catholic who enjoys and with your spirit. Nobody. No, yeah. It's not even. Ugh. Is this 
it. Nox Sapphire. The worst Nox. You don't like the, the power? I don't know how many Noxes there are. <laughs> In Highlander, Mox Sapphire is the one that is chosen least because blue decks put all their points into other cards. Mm. Power mine, yes. Power mine. There we go. There we go. You're just you're just a trendsetter. With like you're you're. I'm a tastemaker. Yeah, you're coming up with these new hot verbs. Do you think the person who coined the term on fleek had any concept of how the next six months would pan out? linguistically considering fetch didn't work yeah what are we doing here oh 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 shooting with lasers <laughs> literally can't fail uh <laughs> yeah Whew. okay Square bizzle. Square bizzle. Square bizzle. Squarb. Remember down here. No. I mean, that's kind of like a uh, sapphire with a square bezel. I thought it was a broken window. Based is eternal. Uh, I think not. I feel like I should be playing hot and cold with this. Hmm. Move over next to where that broken window is and see if, like... That thing? Yeah, just see if that's hot. I can just try it. There's no crime. Bezel me this. What is a square? Are not all squares rectangles? can get more complicated. Good to know. Nox could also be a Stargate reference. Hmm. Wasn't sus the subject of some discourse because of its use in certain queer circles? Mm, I just like, remember hearing like people are like, yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't use sus so casually, which was a losing battle considering that like every 13-year-old picked it up. I think it's like clocking, right? Is it? Is it? Is that it? I mean, that's the closest, like, oh, okay. potentially offensive usage I could hear. Okay. Triangle. Just find a triangle. I mean, I feel that Pog didn't survive that one um, uh, Twitch ad. There it is. Where that guy went, oh, Pog, dude. Thank you. 
close to each other and two a little bit further away from each other. All right. Well. Why don't they do? Je ne sais pas. Power? Galagus. Mm. The guy. Where is he? I was the ultimate warrior. Do you think they have any intact furniture in their home? From the, uh... Yeah. The, the oscillations? The resonance and the frequencies. They just spend all of their money getting, like, new kitchen counters installed. I mean, they probably have a lot of sandstone in this universe. Possibly? get in there and fuck things up the gish gallop of time paradoxes just keep saying things yeah just keep saying things just a time traveler shows up kicks you so hard in the nuts you vomit and is like yeah that's probably enough like Enough havoc here. Bips away. Uh, Gekiru, uh, yes, I have seen X8, and Poppy's great. My friend Anna got uh, a common Rider Tamagotchi, mm -hmm. and has hatched Blade, which she hates. Oh no. <laughs> and then Wizard, which is mediocre, but she likes the transformation song. I only learned last week that Tamagotchi is a portmanteau of Tamago Egg and friend. Yeah. I'm only what, 30 years late? You speak English. Neither of those are English. Nope. But, like, I have Tamago. But do you have... No. <laughs> Let's take a break. All right. New Nexus event detected. Well... Guess that'll we'll have, have to, to wait. Yeah, see you in a few minutes, chat. Enjoy the beep boops. Someone sent us what I can only imagine is a fairly passive aggressive book. <laughs> Speaking French for new to, for beginners. What? Guide to conversation. Uh, certain regions of French actually have the name of the key cure. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Yeah, how to speak Quebecois. Uh, first, learn French a lexicon, and then go back 600 years, split off, and um, develop your own language, basically. I, I understand that Quebecois sounds vaguely like we would think of Newfie yeah. English. Or maybe yeah. it's closer to, like, Deep South. A little more Creole. Yeah, like American English. Like, apparently the, the Deep South American accent is just, like, a very kind of, like, old English one. La belle aventure du français en terre québécoise. Il n'est plus possible d'aujourd'hui d'imaginer la langue française comme la seule propriété des Français. Encore moins d'imaginer l'arrimer à la seule territoire hexagonal. La belle aime à voyager. Elle a trouvé d'autres terres d'accueil où des millions d'autres hommes la parlent à leur manière et, à, et la font évoluer dans les directions qui échappent au contrôle de la France. Really? Hmm. Hmm. Grâce à son nomadisme, elle a pris au cours des siècles un visage multiple, reflet d'histoire et d'identité plurielle. History of international identities, does that say? Plural? Yeah. What is that? Uh, Reflète d'histoire des identités plurielles. You know, many identities are contained in Québécois. It's not possible today to imagine the language of France with the, the property of French. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Aussi, nous, nous ne serons nous pas étonnés en feuilletant, feuilletant cet ouvrage de découvrir l'originalité du français en termes nord-américains au Québec, cette province qui a su, au terme de 400 ans d'histoire, en faire le point fort de son identité. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! Original French, North America, Quebec, a province who is a quarter, four centuries of history, mm -hmm. uh, and makes <laughs> makes a strong point of identity. Yeah. Those silly Quebecois clinging to their own identity. <laughs> <laughs> Like, hey, did you hear about this province where they speak French? But it's not. Have you ever seen how they depict like Quebecois in French media? No. Oh, it's like usually like a guy in like, I mean, mean, like lumberjack. No, it's usually like a lot of denim. Oh. With like a hat that's cocked kind of sideways. Like a ball cap. Yeah, he's dressed kind of like a six-year-old usually, a Quebecois man. Yeah, it's like a Canadian tuxedo, I guess. I didn't know about a Canadian tuxedo until I moved here and West Coast Waffles was having, like, a thing. Yep. You know it's due to, like, one dude who, like, wore a jean jacket with jeans one day. Yeah. In, like, wasn't thinking, put all, pulled on his clothes, put on his jacket, realized he had the same colored denim top and bottom and was from... I don't know, Edmonton. Yeah, that happens. Yep. Whoa. The depth and breadth of Seth. I love my Kentucky-born Texan uncle's Hebrew accent. It's surreal. Because, hmm. like, I guess, like, Kentucky and Texas don't really have the... <laughs> huh. Right? I once dated someone who learned... Parisian French in California and apparently had a valley girl Parisian accent. Uh, huh. To Atlantis. The Kian Splinter. Just like a 
dream had vanished. Hmm. Tears in the rain. Ooh. The Tower of Leisure. <laughs> Have you ever seen uh, Russian media that's produced for a Western audience? Like only, any of their only some like uh, CIA operatives, yeah, kind of stuff, yeah. Like, like the, they used to like you used to be able to watch videos that were produced by Russian government media about like you know whatever kind of like new military tech they were promoting, right? And it would all sound like this. This new tank features things that NATO will now, you know, have to counter. And it was, it was, it, 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 like, it was not an English accent. It was somebody consciously at every syllable deleting a Russian accent. Mm -hmm. I don't know how else to describe that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Seth, I. I... The, it's not the completely foreign sounds that are strange, it's the ones that default back to southern drawl, and yeah, yeah, drawl doesn't... Hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, find something that has disintegrated. Just looking at this big big lad uh, tower of pleasure tower of leisure pleasure pleasure tower I mean this one that seems to be the tower of drama this is some sort of other thing that seems to be the tower of nerds that's leisure clearly where all the fun stuff is, like books, <laughs> scrolls, weird rocks. Mm -hmm. Is this it? No. no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they wouldn't fake me out like that. I assume the Tower of Leisure would have a lot of, I don't know, chaise lounge. A lot of, like, eating of grapes, possibly. Or perhaps the feeding of single grapes. Ooh, this one's medical. Well, there's your problem. Hmm. Usopp? Sports. Quidditch. Ooh, gross. Oh, why, is... why would you? Oh. It seems to be some kind of sludge. Sludge. They're feeding what? Hmm. All right, leisure. Leisure. I remember once Abby Howard drew what she considered to be a realistic mermaid, and it just kind of looked like a beluga whale. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah? Considering, you know, like, how you would have to store fat in order to survive an aquatic environment. And like, well, we'd all look like seals. Yeah. Like, they've perfected it. Yeah, exactly. Why is everything so goopy? Maybe this is the Tower of Leisure. Something being disintegrated. Oh. Something that has disintegrated? I always assumed seals were, like, made out of skin. That outer surface. Oh, not the fur? But that's fur. It's so weird. It's just wet. Yeah. 
They do have skin, though. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> probably under there. Ah, you again. The Towers of Annoy. Right. Have any one of these been good ever? Uh, Hanoi? Yeah. The first one. Okay. When you're a kid and you're just like, I'm a genius. Hmm. Like learning tic-tac-toe. Yeah. Do you ever get so bored in elementary school you work out every possible game of tic-tac-toe? Yes. And realize there's only like, like 40 of them? Yeah. Yeah. That's when you move on to SOS and you never stop playing. Hmm. The other half the mask. Right there. <laughs> yep. I assume That's any mushroom and mollusk a dish what? would need to be handled carefully, lest it become rubbery. Is this our boy? No, no, I need the mask. The mask. Ah. Let's use the tuna and fork. Cold. Cold. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Oops. Hot, hot. And I mean hot, hot. What about hat, hat? shot him I'm still like thinking about this statement that Atlantis which was the dawn of recorded history 4,000 years ago uh -huh. was also the most advanced civilization ever that's almost like an Eden myth basically right like have we, you have you heard it, the Eden Atlantis myth no you can't find Eden because it's sunk I mean I wasn't but <laughs> yeah, I guess is that just Assassin's Creed? A little golden Donny? Yeah. Crystals. Yep. Of course. Crystals. Always crystals. Society, if we had crystals. Have you ever seen a uh, a silicon bolus? Oh, like from machines? Yeah. They, they, they... Like it's a it's like a a perfect silicon crystal. Mm. No. They're very shiny. They're very reflective. Oh. Well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Iris. 
I've only seen them in photos, too. I just thought they were kind of like, oh, you know, that's interesting. You want Crash to be the next Easter egg? Like Bandicoot? Just masks and fruit? Mm. Would Pavati be carrying a big ass ladder? You think? I mean, I guess it had to come from somewhere, but maybe not. Yes, Balthus. A big ass ladder. Follow, follow, follow the fish people. Dorado? Pavati the name of a fish? Hmm. No, oh, I wanted to see crab. Where is crab? Alright. Big sideways fish eyes. Big lumpy. Out the side of the head. Big crystal, big lumpy. Mm. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, and he was looking distressed later. Upsetty. Well, what if someone made you angry? Quab. Tiny quab with tiny kelp. Mm-hmm. This is cupping. Echappé. Dorado. I wonder, do you oh, think the Becherelle is still published? Did you ever have those no. in elementary school? Oh, it was like a book of all French verbs conjugated. Hell no. There we go. Rage. Here. Oh! <gasps> What if Okay, yeah, yeah, I do whatever you want. Yeah, authorize. Yeah. Uh did you unshackle your AI? We hear at our next quarterly evaluation. Mm-hmm. My AI suggested it. Hmm? Sorry? My AI suggested it. Unshackle? Hmm. I wasn't paying attention. Ni re mi re do. Egon. 
Wrangler? Me. Me, me? Dope. Back to. Dope! Dope. Do 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 Dope. Statue. <laughs> Doe, a deer, a female deer. Wrath. Wrath. <laughs> a sin, if you wish. Data obfuscated, inoculation, subroutine, loaded correctly. Now we yeah. can arrest people. <laughs> we we invented <laughs> cops. Now we invented it being illegal to be angry. Mm. We can hack the crystals. <laughs> the crystals have firewalls. We want them both to match. Ta-da! Man, it's weird that we invented the idea of wrath, which would go on to cascade through all of time and space. Yep. This is what's called job security. Yeah, yeah. The make work project. Make future work. Just kind of like how I create all my spring cleaning problems. I single handedly keep Mary Kondo in business. Hume. By supporting us here on Patreon. Here supporting the production of dust in our houses. Or the production of our houses into dust, detective. The acceleration of entropy. Really? I thought we hadn't shut up. <laughs> yeah, everything worked out. You're a different color now, and I don't trust it. Everything's fine! Minor changes. Like the invention of the concept of sin. Okay. I think we can handle one more anomaly. Ooh, do you mind if I pilot? Go for it. I want to click on things. It's a uh, click and drag to move, move the this. thing, but oh. if you click in a spot, it does the little selection okay. timer. All right. Main plaza. Please depart at the main plaza. Look for a space time distortion. What's that? Good eyes. Yeah, you can zoom in more. Mm, I'm just looking at the grand scale of it all. You oh, know, it's what like about a... the swirl on the fish eye? <laughs> The Where's Waldo kind of like zoom out. Distortion found. Wait. Oh, you look from a high level in Where's Waldo? Yep. Oh. This shouldn't be possible. It's, the distortion is altering the fabric of reality as if a specific moment in time and space was being rewritten. I just raster. 
Additionally, there's a lingering trace of quantic energy. Before the distortion, there was something else. Something incredibly powerful. Something has been stolen. Could it be? Clues near the fountain. What about Fab? I mean, this is the fountain, right? Yeah. So something's been stolen. Stop, thief. Hmm. If I had stolen an object from a statue, what would I do with it? Oh, yeah. Infinity Gauntlet. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's that cracked pot person? Is that like a sign of a theft? Okay. Negatory. Um... Incense. Luffy. Luffy. Well, then we should be able to detect. The rest of the Straw Hat Pirates. Yes. yes. Okay. My, my partner really likes One Piece. Okay. And she said that the key to enjoying it is realizing that everyone in the series thinks that they're the smart one. Yep. And they're all wrong. <laughs> I think Brooke and Sanji might attempt mm. sometimes, sometimes. Mm. Okay, well. Do, do, re, mi. Hot. What about the crab catcher? in here somewhere. Some form of philosopher king. So where did it go? What was it? Somebody with a plunger, somebody with a hula hoop. There's the mask. There's somebody just like, what is this? What is this hideous mong everywhere? Ankre? Warning, warning. New distortion detected. Oh, catch it. Oh, you gotta catch it. Oh, don't let it get away. Gaming. Hey, that thing I saw earlier. Something really powerful was there just a second ago. Uh huh.
Now we're allowed to play. Finally. There. Wait. What? Villain ASL. Ooh. Frequency matching. The most evil being there is. Somehow, the squids have returned. No. No. Christ's sake. This is so cheeky. Yeah. Ooh. It'd be fun if that was a job and not just a thing computers can do. Yeah. <laughs> Match frequencies? Okay. He has a beard. Ah, the books. The Tower of Knowledge. There we go. Shriek. And Zooks. Uh-huh. Mindstone. some form of bearded mollusk. It's gonna be Santa. Old beard squid. Tonic. Yeah, like the, uh, oh, look, it's the Avengers, is really, like, I guess this is a game for 12-year-olds? Is that what I'm... I think so. Yeah, probably. We're the 12-year-olds. We are the 12-year-olds. Here we are roasting a game meant for children. Yeah. 
high conundrum of the Crimson Vow. Where's he gonna go? Yeah, this feels like it has way too many uh, cute references. Invisible force. Spooky ghost force. Hmm. The crimson vow? The game is rated E for everyone. Yeah, like, I mean... This is basically a 21st century Where's Waldo, right? Mm -hmm. Although, you know, Where's Waldo, I feel, has enduring value. The things that were good when I were a child. When I was a child. Were you? <laughs> Probably not. Maybe I still am a child. Change the melody of this time fragment. to do me. Oh. So the bench oh, half or step the up. mask? He did it correctly. It just the timing thing. Mm. Ray. Yay! Well, we've changed the tune of time. It's now a major key. We added another sin. Yeah, we have we have taught them yet more sin. Mm-hmm. This will solve all of our problems. Are we God? I mean, if we play our cards right. Mm hmm. Atlantis is a flat circle. Mm hmm. Brain, brain, that one, that brain, one, that one, brain, that one. brain. Watch me fail at playing a game meant for 12 year olds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remind me again what our AI is named. Uh, Eve? Eve? Eve Online? Um. Has anyone checked on EVE Online lately? No. Okay. Good. <laughs> Today I was playing a game called 64, which is a clicker, and Ian heard me clicking and turned around and looked at my screen and was like, oh, I was wondering when you would play that. Hmm. <sighs> I think we should wrap things up here. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's... Get another this it, dialogue. This, this does really feel like um, an updated Where's Waldo. Although, like, with all the visual gags spread across multiple arrows. 
Yeah. Right. Like it's less visually dense than a Where's Waldo. Yes. Which I think was a large part of how fun those were to investigate. Like the different color clashes and things. It would be like, oh, I'm looking for the red hat stripes mm-hmm. and stuff. And But like all the visual puns. Yeah. That came from that density. I don't know. Did it come from that density? Now I'm thinking about like how Where's Waldo worked and why it was fun. Oh, man. I mean, I think it's cute. We found steampunk. Oh, piss. Well, no. There's no button. Egg? Exit. 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 Yay! I solved our problem. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. Um, the mini games are a little like lackluster. Yeah. Um, they, they feel like. I, maybe if I could have like picked a difficulty or something. I mean, I don't think they get any better if they become harder. I think it's just one of those problems where people are like, we need more gameplay. Mm. Like this needs to be more convoluted or there needs to be like something different going on here. Maybe not harder, but like, more interesting. I don't than, like, mind seeking just constantly. Yeah. So having, having like periodic breaks from that isn't necessarily fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I... I Okay, yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like the mini games breaking up the kind of like Yeah. Because you don't want to get bored with this kind of thing, right? Mm. Like it, it seems And you might It seems it, bad it, it faith seems to get bored with the with Like the, it's just like a friction thing for time. Yeah. They're like they want to they want to roadblock you. I would like it if they were somehow like I don't know, better integrated with the the visual seeking element of the game. Just the thing, like, that it didn't go to another, like, computer screen with, like, a, this is a Unix system. Yeah. Or even if it did, but if it wasn't so completely removed right. from what the rest, how the rest of the game felt. Something like um, Spirit Trick or something like the... Maybe? You interact with elements in the scene and then stuff changes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. But, you know... D- just go and work on that game, devs. Yeah, Figure yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, you can take all afternoon. Um, it just felt very kind of removed from how the rest of the game worked. Mm. Um, also, I noticed like the the mission length was pretty variable. Mm-hmm. So like you can't just sit down for five minutes. Yeah, it's very. Um, Prescribed. You might get locked in like a cutscene dialogue thing. But then again, I suppose this also has to be optimized for things like a switch. Mm-hmm. Right? Where you're like tapping at the screen. Maybe. Or an I, iOS game. I think you game. just have like a cursor. If, yeah. This feels like it could have been an iOS game, like primarily. Yeah, pinch and zoom and mm-hmm. pan around. That'd be fun. Yeah. And then I guess with the big chonky buttons for controls on the the mini games yeah Mm -hmm. i think you're right and yeah like the storytelling could be less referency but maybe that is supposed to delight and entice children or those who have never matured born old stayed old All right, thank you all for joining us for this today. It was, you know, a fun change of pace. We'll be back next week with more thing. Uh, thank you everybody that supports us on Patreon or store.lettingreadyrun.com or Twitch or YouTube. Just thank you. Yeah, uh, and great work. Keep it up. Yeah, later.